It's an orange out in Blacksburg tonight as the Virginia Tech Hokies host the Duke Blue Devils. Carey spins around it, comes up empty. Nolly straight into attack mode. And the Hokies strike first. We mentioned Virginia Tech has the last three wins in Blacksburg, but the last meeting came in the Sweet 16 when Duke got the better of the Hokies. Trey Jones had five threes in that game, passing off, and the Australian Jack White drills it from the corner. In matchup a year ago, and I'm sure that they remember, I know what Visabidi does, of course, he was very instrumental in that game, 10 points, and very upset over the fact that you can't take the crowd out of cast. These guys are going to be here. They show up in orange for this tonight. And the players have shown up on the court prepared to try to beat the Blue Devils for a fourth consecutive time. Trey Jones. Tyrese Radford. It drops. Of course, they have been a great three-point shooting team as his teams at Wofford were. But he gives his team the ultimate green light and confidence. And because of that, they... DeLaurier coming off his best performance of the season against Michigan State. And that's a much-needed basket for the Blue Devils. It is. Caused by Duke tonight. They've been highly effective in that department to start the year. And this is where Virginia Tech has to take advantage of matchups. It only means they're going to be slower. And with Bisabidi taking advantage of his matchup, blowing by a defender for an easy layup. Matthew Hurt buries a corner three. Slowing down. Both these teams still getting after it. And, of course, the Hokies aren't going to slow down the entire game. Great feed. Landers Nolly picking out Tyrese Radford. Virginia Tech ready to take the roof off. Young got them playing at such a high level with so many different guys. He says they cause it great freedom. And I, I attribute that to confidence. As you see, they continue to get the ball inside. Now 12 points in the paint, Mark. But they have not picked up where they left off here in Blacksburg. Beatty. A three. It's good. Isaiah Wilkins drills it. But you see no hesitation whatsoever from the Hokies in this game. When they get a look, they let it go. And that comes directly from the encouragement of their head cutters. You allow Virginia Tech to get a transition. Turnover on that possession, but still a possible good look. Four on two, and Jack White rocks the rim. Especially when you can get the ball in the hands of Trey Jones, who pushes the tempo better than anyone. What a fun start here in Blacksburg. These two teams trading punches. And Beatty, Wabisa Beatty, it's his time to throw one. Finally, after a streak of 15 losses. That's off. ACC championship enough for me. Off the steal, Vernon Carey Jr. His first points of the game. It's Will be Sabidi on the move. Takes it right to the hoop for the scoop and score. But you look at the size advantage that Duke has over the Hokies, but still doesn't matter. Court right now, but the Hokies just playing harder. Hurt for a three. It's good. Triple team. Someone's open. Wendell Moore trying to take advantage. Wide open three for Goldwire, and he knocks it down. Wilkins hard to the hole. Didn't have the angle, and it was stuffed. It's a, it's a strength for Duke. They lead the nation in the shot block, but they can't allow themselves to give up transition buckets this easy. And you see Gables running in mud a little bit in this game. And the Hokies continue to keep their foot on the gas pedal. A kind bounce from Alex O'Connell. Another attack. That one way too much on it from Jenny. have come in the paint. We told you it was going to be a three-point shooting. Let it fly night. But the Hokies have flipped the script. Into the paint again. And they come up. Continuing to stay aggressive in this game on both ends of the floor. Cassius Stanley follows his own miss. Keeps the play alive for Duke. He's back in the lineup after he missed a week with an injury. And Duke can cash in on the offensive rebound.
They are one of the shortest teams in the entire country. You got Vernon Carey at six foot ten. Alina three, and that'll wake this crowd up out of the timeout. And they have to make it because Wabisa Beatty made such a great play, keeping his dribble alive and being patient in the paint. That time the double team couldn't come quick enough in Vernon Carey when you catch the ball in the middle of the floor. PJ Horn only at six foot six has the assignment of carry tonight. Landers Nolly. And thought about the fact that he averages 20 points a game. He has to get his. He's played a great team game in helping his team to build the lead. Trey Jones steps into his first basket of the night, and it's a three to pull the Blue Devils back within three. Maybe he would have shied away from taking shots, but not that time. Steps up confidently, knocks it down, and then Vernon Carey getting out on the break with the easy one to make this a one-point game. Mike Line. They're not necessarily running for layups because they shoot it so well. They want to be able to find a three in transition when there's no defense set. Nolly, great feed, Horn the finish. Inside the carry. Turns, faces, and scores. It's that easy sometimes. Shot clock down to seven. E.J. Horn fires the three. It's good! Trey Jones quickly the other way to end the half. Floater. It drops! Friday and hasn't done much of anything since. So, you know, it's hard to be able to develop a rhythm and be able to participate in a game like this with Harry Jr. These two teams trading turnovers early. And that's not something you see often from Trey Jones, who set a record a year ago for assisted turnovers in the ACC. Around Goldwire out of control. Finally, does it drop? No, Trey Jones thought he had two. And the fourth effort finally falls for Jordan Goldwire. Was begging. Somehow the shoe got back on Couture's foot. It was not all the way on right yeah. now. If I, <laughs> I would try to drive him because he didn't have the shoe on all the way is Trey Jones. And that's not a runner, by the way. Dodge a bullet, more unable to finish a point blank shot at the rim. Beatty into attack mode, blows by DeLaurier, scoop to the hoop, and Trey Jones, great dish. DeLaurier, there's your answer. In that loss to Ohio State, as the Blue Devils take their first lead. Landers Nolly. Passing off, here's Tyrese Radford. Puts it up and in. You have no it answer doesn't. for me? It doesn't. No, okay, I, I was just checking. You. I was just checking. All right, just making sure. P.J. Uh -oh. Horn buries a three to fire the Virginia Tech Hokies back in front. Moore right into the teeth of the Virginia Tech defense. Passes out. The hesitation. Jones steps into it and knocks it down. The shoe fits. Where? He does have choices. And after all the success he's had, 40 years at the helm of Duke, he said this would be one of the best weeks he's ever had if they could go to Michigan State and here in Blacksburg. And compliment a guy, you know, who's been doing this 45 years, 40 of them at Duke, and has pretty much every possible coaching record known to man. There's the mid-range game again. The point guards trading punches. He's putting on a show. Wendell Moore fading away. The bank open here in Blacksburg, no, and the freshman cashes only in. Only the ATM machine. Banks are not open this late. So that's a good sign for Mike Young and his group. Anders Nolly out of this game as well. What a take. Trey Jones showing off at Duke with their largest lead. Which defensively, as well as guard, each guy man-to-man. -man. And so now Wabisa Beatty's not able to find those matchups that he was finding earlier in the game. But the Blue Devils and Jack White come up with enough. And Vernon Carey Jr. has been on the Duke bench for much, much of the second half. What a turn. Scoop to the hoop. Wabisa Beatty. Advantage over the Blue Devils. But to this point, Duke has evened that up here in the second half. Jones, contested shot. And the sophomore buries it. Beatty, he threw it right to Wendell Moore, the freshman 
up, up, and away, and Duke has its largest lead of the night. Bernie Carey Jr. back on the floor, and right now Duke going to use him like a great football team would use a running game. Play through him, Milt. O'Connell made the last three, gets that one to fall too. They handle Sparty. Then you come into Blacksburg, get punched in the mouth, you're trailing by 12. And the way they have responded has been so impressive. Jones, oh, he's been money all night. But in the second half, the Blue Devils neutralized those points in the paint and were able to take advantage of their quickness as Jordan Gowar gets to the rim. Under a minute to play, the Hokies are sitting on 60 points. And again, you have to give them credit for the defensive job they've done in this game. And right on cue, blocked by Jack White, but the follow was good. Back to one. That would have capped it off in great fashion. But still, Mike Krzyzewski in just four days goes to East Lansing, gets a win, and comes to Blacksburg where they've lost the last three meetings and gets a really nice road win to start ACC play 1-0 for the Blue Devils, a 77-63 final.